Hello. Hello, lovely viewers. Welcome back to our channel. This week we're talking about clocks. So welcome back to our channel. This is a really, really simple camper van. Hack. Job, DIY, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's something that we get asked quite a lot. Um, Only twice a year. Yeah, twice a year. So we're going to help you change the clocks in your van. So this video is released on a Friday. The clocks go forward on Saturday. But feel free to go out and do this now because you will forget. Next time you go on a trip, you'll get in your van and you realise that all the clocks are wrong. So take advantage of it now. <laughs> Go and do it over the weekend. Uh, Friday night, if you're watching this, Saturday, take the video with you on your phone. I'm going to put chapters in the links below, so you can click on the, in the description and skip straight to the bit you want to see, whether it's the tumor bit, whether it's the van bit, hopefully to help you nice and simple. And then make sure you get a reward at the end of it as well. So obviously, it's not all vans will be the same as ours, but a lot of the components are the same. So we're going to show you how to change the clock on the van bit, how to change it on the heating the tumor bit, how to change it on the auto trail bit, and also how to change it on the head unit for the uh, nav system. So that's four different clocks in that's the van that we have to change. a lot of changing. Yep. So without further ado, let's crack on. So we're going to change the clock first of all on the auto trail panel. This one's really simple, dead straightforward. Basically, at the moment it's showing it's 2040. What's the time on your watch, Caroline? I think it's slightly fast. 2039. Okay. <laughs> 2039. So I literally press this button here with the little graph charts on till you get to the clock. So it goes through your battery, leisure, internal temperature, and you get to the hour. And then you simply press this button here and it scrolls through till you get to what you want to go through. So obviously I went past it. I could have just pressed it once. There we go. That's it. 21 40. Done. Time is now set. Really simple. The next one is a Truma clock, really simple as well. Just literally press the Truma button, turn it on, got a bit of screen glare, and if you scroll around, you'll see there's a one at the bottom left. Not that one, but there's that one there. That's the one you want. Click on that one, and then just literally turn the knob once to the right, click it again, click it again. That's it, done. Press the back button to check it. Clock's forward by an hour. So now we're going to change the clock on the Decato, the front bit. I've got my trusty assistant here. Hello. Holding a phone torch, just so you can see the dashboard. So it doesn't work until you turn the ignition on. You must turn the ignition on, and then the ignition comes on, and then it lets you change the clock. So on the right-hand side, down here, you can see there's a set of buttons. Mode, and then up and down arrows, and this is how you change the clock. So you press the mode button to select and use the up and down to change the settings. So if I press mode once, it brings up a menu on the screen at the top, then press the down button till we get to set time, press mode again, time, press mode again, and then simply adjust your time. Press mode, mode, and that's it done. Keep pressing down to get back to the exit, and then you've got exit menu, and there's your clock set on your dashboard. Okay, so the final clock on the van is in our head unit. I'm going to turn it on first of all. This is the Xcent XF220. Turn it on, would help. Um, and it's quite an old head unit, this one now, but they all work in a very similar way. So there's a new model, but they will work in a very similar way. So once it comes on, I'll show you how to change the time. Once it loads, it defaults back to the screen we are on before, which is the radio. So just let it load for a second, and then press the home button, top left, on this one. Whoops. And then you've got screens to scroll from. So if I scroll across to the middle one, then you've got settings. I'll click on settings. And then there's a number of tabs at the bottom on the left-hand side. And on the right, far right-hand side, this is the one to change the clock. You'll see the clocks in there. One thing it has is the ability to set the time from the GPS. I don't use this because it does tend to go a little bit wrong. It doesn't seem to work out the UK time zone very well. So if I literally press that drop-down button there, literally press the hour and a clock and that's it done you'll see it's adjusted at the top and that clock is now forward by an hour hit home and then it stays on the same bit there as well and that's the last clock all done 
So as you can see, the clocks are really easy to change. Hopefully you found that helpful. Super easy. It makes Caroline really stressed when the clocks are wrong. So I'm glad we've done it all now in advance of going away in the van. Which is less confusing than when you get in last next time, isn't it? And you know, yeah. I suppose. Yes, absolutely. So uh, obviously after doing all that hard work, you deserve a treat. So make sure you grab yourself a, a, a nice refreshing beverage straight afterwards. Benefit of giving the camper van a spring clean as well. You look in all the different cupboards and stuff, you find beers you forgot about. So I have a beautiful, from Brussels, a cherry beer. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, it's 4%, really refreshing, but a really nice cherry flavored beer. Uh, found it in a cupboard, very handy. Mm, and now you know why all of our videos are done well, filmed mainly in the evening uh, and in the dark. As I'm thinking as we're filming this, why haven't we done this in the daytime? When well, we can actually see what we're doing, but... At work, honestly, yeah. yeah. So, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next video. Yeah, Bye. bedtime now. I'm an hour ahead.